Welcome to Marvelicious Toys. We bring you news and reviews of Marvel toys, statues, and more. Because not all Marvel collections can be bagged and boarded. They're not just toys, they're Marvelicious. Of course, most of my money went to, I'm just going to call them Hot Toys the Merciless. <laughs> <laughs> After we released our last show, two days later, they sprung upon us not one, but two movie promo edition movie masterpiece series figures. Now, the movie promo edition are just really limited. They're usually variants of some sort that non-completists could easily live without. But these things usually sell fast. Now, I remember when Winter Soldier came out, the movie promo Captain America was in stock for a few weeks, whereas when Avengers came out, that movie promo Iron Man was gone in one day, because hmm. Iron Man is more in demand. <laughs> but in one weekend, both of these figures went to waitlist already. Whoa. Now, they were Captain America, the battling version, or kind of a little bit battle damaged, and he comes with a scuffed up outfit, and when they released the Black Panther, they had him posing with Cap, and Cap had a clawed up shield, and I'm like, well, where's the clawed up shield accessory? Here it is, as part of this movie promo edition figure. And do you think that's the only place that shield is going to show up, is in this version? Is that kind of the thinking of what makes this the movie promo exclusive? Well, there's that, there's its special base that looks like he's standing on some rubble, with a really nice Civil War plaque, and the costume has weathering effects. But yes, I do think that this will be the only place to get the clawed up shield, too. Okay. They got some good poses going on this figure, too, like the one where like he's falling down. Mm-hmm. So that one was pretty awesome, and the one that I felt would sell out instantly, and it did sell out, but I was surprised that equally as fast, put on wait list, was the movie promo edition Scarlet Witch, who was not in her Civil War outfit, but her new Avengers costume from the end of Age of Ultron, which is only ever so slightly different than what she wore for the rest of Age of Ultron. <laughs> but I did like this outfit. I mean, while she wore a red coat the whole time, this one feels more superhero costumey with the straps hanging down and the special belt buckle. Now she feels like she should hang out with Hawkeye. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, same tailor. Mm -hmm. Never mind the costume or anything like that or what you think about it. Good gravy. Look at the detail that Hot Toys has put into this. Like, there is so many stitches and seams and cuts and different materials going on. That is impressive. It really, really is. And I'm very curious about the hair because it's that real fabric hair it looks so good in these pictures. Am I going to get it and it's going to look like a Barbie with static cling? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I I have yet to have a Hot Toys with real hair, so that scares me for sure. Do we need to style it? Do I need to get a little curling iron so you can curl her hair? No, it's you know, melted. It's oh. like that kind of fabric. Like, I don't know if it's... Yeah, but they made special styling tools for Barbies so you could do their hair. Well, maybe that's what I need. Yeah. I also appreciate what they did with the magic effect. It's something different here with translucent plastic than we've seen in the past. How it goes from pink to clear? Yeah, I mean, just the shape of it. And it just almost feels more like a blown glass piece than it does a plastic piece. What I think is really awesome is she comes with special hands with translucent fingers to go with those magic effects. That is pretty cool. Well, if that wasn't enough, just a few days after that, they put up for order the best of the Civil War hot toys. All die-cast metal, baby, for the Iron Man Mark 46. <sighs> yeah, and this is a slight difference from his last appearance. It feels more red, less gold. Like, it's almost, it's so red, for some reason it looks to me like a unitard that has gold highlights. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not like it looks like spandex, but if you were to see this at a con, it would be all red spandex from foot to head. <laughs> no, you're right. It's, I mean, it's over the years with the Iron Man suits, it's gotten less angular and more and more smoothed out. And this is almost like looking at his legs, it almost looks like musculature. They're getting more and more to that original comic version is what they're doing. <sighs> but 
I had ordered the Iron Man Mark 46 because they put out that Power Pose edition. But now we're getting the die cast Iron Man. Yeah, that's that might be my line. I might do the the die cast ones. They're singularly the best. Oh, yeah. I mean, Hot Toys is the best figure line anyway with its human likenesses. But when it comes to the die cast ones, you're just bang. Take it to the next level. You got an extra hundred dollars on that price tag for that metal, too. Yes, it does. But Iron Man plastics had always been around 270 to 300. So for an Iron Man, because of all the moving parts and interchangeable parts, he's always been more expensive than like a Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Plus, he's got the light up features. And I think that's what had pushed some of these Iron Men into higher prices anyway. And then Hot Toys did a show overseas and they revealed the one that i hoped was coming and justin let me know if you're in on this one because i know you're a big fan of crossbones oh yeah so they've revealed his hot toys figure looks pretty cool and my initial thought is i'm gonna hit pre-order as soon as they put this up but at the same time i do want to see the movie because i hope they don't like captain phasma him <laughs> <laughs> become such a thing everybody's like yeah they're gonna get captain phasmid <laughs> i mean they could i mean he was really cool in winter soldier and now that he's actually gonna officially be crossbones i hope he's not just like the the beginning of the movie villain that they dispatch right away with and move on to something else but we'll see from looking at him though he is awesome also at this show they demoed the vision and much to my chagrin no sweater and tie <laughs> <laughs> That's coming, though. It'll be a movie promo edition. <laughs> I I will tell you this much. I, I ordered a, uh older Indiana Jones three and three quarter inch action figure because he's wearing, you know, his kind of basic civilian clothes. And I might have ordered a three and three quarter inch vision, so I might be making a custom casual vision. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Marvelicious Toys with more collecting news and reviews at MarveliciousToys.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, make mine Marvelicious.